What is poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Dope back with another bitty bid, man. I know there's a lot of people out there who are curious about living in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So I did one of these videos on Houston, Texas because I'm actually in the process of moving to Houston, Texas, but I'm currently in Atlanta right now. So I figured why not do the video right now? So I excuse all the traffic that's coming behind me. I cannot help that. But please like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna take y'all on a little tour of Atlanta. I'm gonna give y'all the pros and cons of living in Atlanta, Georgia, if you are interested in moving here. Cause I know a lot of people are because Atlanta is a hot, hot, hot city right now. So if you look behind me, I'm just gonna get straight into it. This is the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, man. Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So right off the bat, one of the pros is Atlanta sports teams, man. We have sports. If you like sports, we have them. This is where the Atlanta Falcons play, okay? So from the Falcons to the Hawks to the Atlanta Braves, we even have a soccer team that's doing pretty well, by the way. You dig what I'm saying? We're doing pretty well. So if you're a big sports fan, man, Atlanta is definitely a city for you. Even if you're not a fan of any of the Atlanta sports teams, your favorite sports team is probably going to come to the city one time, twice a year. So that would be a good time to catch them out. Perfect time to catch a game with your friends, your family, your girl. Good date night, you dig what I'm saying? I ain't been to plenty of Hawks games, you know what I'm saying? Because I love basketball. So right off the bat that's one of the pros right there is sports man Well, right off the rip, I have a con for you guys. One of the cons of living in Atlanta is paying to park everywhere you go, man. You gotta pay everywhere you go, man. It don't matter where you go, if you go to the club, if you go anywhere, you gotta pay to park. That's one of the unfortunate things about living here, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna pay for parking, just so I can show y'all around the area. So y'all better like, comment, and subscribe, man, because this parking is not cheap. It's like $6, okay? Six dollars. I'm paying six dollars to park for this video. So y'all better like, comment, and subscribe because I'm dedicated, okay? All right, put that up there because I don't want to get a boot. And we are ready to go. So one of the pros, this could be a pro or a con depending on what type of person you are. So just like my Houston video, I mentioned the weather. So right now it is actually very, very early in the morning. It's eight in the morning right now but it's also 50 degrees outside, okay? It's 50 degrees outside, which is why I have on a jacket and a turtleneck. I probably should have on gloves and some more stuff, but you know what I'm saying? It's all good. I like the cold weather. I like to be able to switch it up, but I also like hot weather too. But this is good fall weather right here. It's not necessarily winter time yet. It's not time for the bulky, but in Atlanta, Georgia, you will definitely get all of the seasons, man. You're definitely gonna get summer. You're gonna get fall, you're gonna get spring, and you're definitely gonna get winter time. And you might even get some snow. All right, y'all, so where I'm currently at right now, man, I'm right here in downtown Atlanta, Georgia. I'm at Centennial Olympic Park. And this park is very, very historical for many, many reasons, but it's mainly used, you know what I'm saying? A lot of families, a lot of people come out here during the spring and the summer months, and they just have fun, man. They have spring, they have like waterfall in the middle. There's the world of Coca-Cola. There's the College Football Hall of Fame. There's a Ferris wheel, you dig. I don't really mess with Ferris wheels. I don't do heights. But there's a Ferris wheel if you like that type of stuff. There's food, snacks, all type of stuff that people do here, man. A whole lot to get into. There's even, there's a bunch of hotels. So if you wanna stay downtown, if you wanna stay close around some stuff, there's the Tabernacle where there's a lot of concerts at. And there's a lot of different restaurants, like my favorite. There's a Waffle House right there. I don't know if you can see that. But Waffle House is definitely an essential of Atlanta, man. If you're in Atlanta, you got to get Waffle House. Go to the dirtiest one. I promise it's going to be lovely. It's going to be great. You dig what I'm saying? My name is Ricky. What's up, Ricky? He called me Flower Man. Okay. It's a blessing to be out here. Yes, it is. It's a blessing to be alive. Yes, it is. So what I want to tell you is stay safe. Always pray because that is what's going to take you through. We're going through times of COVID-19, but guess what? We're gonna make it. Peace up, 
A Town. Town. Down. Yes, sir. Much love. Hey, much My love. Man. Hey, you a blessing. Hey, can a brother ask you for your help to get a meal, bro? One thing about Atlanta, man, we might have a lot of homeless people, no cap. We might have a lot of homeless people, but most of them are cool. You know what I'm saying? They're really cool, though. You know what I'm saying? They're going to bother you. But they cool, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Just like my boy Ricky back there. You dig what I'm saying? I'm in front of the CNN building right now. CNN, very, very, I don't know, they be lying. They be lying sometimes, but hey man, everybody know about CNN. Y'all might have seen this on fire during the protest, you dig what I'm saying? But we, we they back up now. So, but yeah, this is the famous CNN building. If you ever come to Atlanta, you can actually go inside the CNN and you can see how they work. You know, you can see the setup. You can see everything. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to CNN, man. Y'all might not be the best. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not. Y'all might not always be truthful, but y'all are very necessary. So, shout out to CNN, man. My nose is running. It's cold, bro. It's cold, but I'm out here for y'all, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, smash all the buttons. Cause I'm 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 out here working for y'all, man. I'm out here working. It's a beautiful day though. It's a beautiful day to be alive, like my boy Ricky said, man. This right here, this is my boy Dominique Wilkins, man. Hall of Fame, all-star for the Atlanta Falcons. And this is State Farm Arena. So this is actually where the Atlanta Hawks play, man. Trey Young. All them boys, man, going crazy. Ice trader gang, you did. You know what I'm saying? So, I spent a lot, a lot of time in this building right here. My first ever basketball game was actually in here, man. In here. The design of this building is so lovely right here. It actually spells out Atlanta across it. You know what I'm saying? You can't see it from this angle, but if I get a further out angle, then you can see that it actually spells out Atlanta. And the Georgia Dome is actually right there. It's no longer the Georgia Dome. It's the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. They tore the dome down. But the dome was very, very legendary as well. That's where Michael Vick was going crazy, all that, man. So, like I said before in the beginning, if you're ever in Atlanta, definitely come catch a sports game, man. Definitely come catch a sports game. You dig? That's my boy. Start, ain't even your fault, but don't to oh, shit. Oh, oh. oh y'all caught me in the middle of a jam session, man. No cap. But, I mean, that's a perfect segue for my next pro. So my next pro is that Atlanta is culture, man. Atlanta is culture, bruh. You dig what I'm saying? When it comes to civil rights, music, arts, anything that you can think of, Atlanta is culture, man. Even from, when I say civil rights, I mean like HBCUs. There's a lot of historically black colleges in Atlanta. You dig what I'm saying? From Morehouse to Clark to Spelman. You dig what I'm saying? It's a lot of black educators. You know what I'm saying? A lot of historic. Martin Luther King was born here. His house is here. He had, even has an exhibit here that you can visit when you are in town. You dig what I'm saying? Atlanta is culture. Even from Tyler Perry Studios, movies, rap music. We got the best artists. I don't care what nobody say. Atlanta has the best artists hands down. Future, Young Thug, Lil Baby, 2 Chains. T.I., Jeezy, Gucci, so many artists, man, that influenced the culture of hip-hop, man. And one of the cool things about that is that the artists, they actually live here. So if you're in the right spot at the right time, you can actually run across your favorite artist just walking through the mall, you know, at the gas station, at a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't hide. You know what I'm saying? They don't hide. And celebrities, they're very, very regular people. And in Atlanta, we kind of like to act like we're celebrities as well. So we're not too starstruck when we see them. But to out of towners, if you just so happen to see your favorite celebrity walking through a hotel lobby or walking through the mall, something like that, you might get very, very excited. And it's definitely something exciting, you know what I'm saying? Because I know, you know, we see these people on TV, we see these people in movies, we see these people on YouTube, and we think that, man, like, I love them. And then when you actually see them in person, you get kind of excited. It's normal, you know what I'm saying? So Atlanta is definitely a spot to run into your favorite celebrity. It's also a good place to come to school and also a good place just to soak up some culture, man. You dig what I'm saying? Now, this wouldn't be a proper pros and cons of Atlanta video if I didn't mention the black excellence of Atlanta, man. The black excellence man all my kings and queens man atlanta is full of them full of them you dig what i'm saying the black excellence is amazing man this is a black city black hollywood black everything black owned businesses black support systems black 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 it black 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 you dig what i'm saying 
everywhere is black and that's part of the reason i even moved to atlanta and i'm glad that i even was raised in atlanta because the love for black people and the love black people have for each other the way we uplift each other the way we support each other the way we go hard for each other is so beautiful man it is so 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 beautiful bro and i love it man i love it so much shout out to atlanta for just being culturally black man i don't know how it happened but i'm glad it happened it is definitely a black city and if you're looking to be around people it just gives you a home vibe you know what i'm saying like you don't have to worry about going to the mall or going out to eat going to a five-star restaurant or anything like that and not seeing somebody just like you same walk of life you know what i'm saying on the same journey on the same struggle knowing the same hustle got the same goals on the same grind you dig what i'm saying like atlanta is full of black entrepreneurs and i love it man black not even just entrepreneurs but black business people black workers black everything man from the people who drive the bus the policemen lawyers doctors concierge hotels everything car dealerships everything black people we are on it in atlanta shout out to atlanta for being black hollywood man i love it man chocolate city you dig what i'm saying I am currently in Midtown Atlanta, man. I am between Peachtree and Juniper Street. If you live in Atlanta, you know exactly where I'm at. But if you're not, if you're thinking about moving and you want a nice apartment and you want it in a nice area, this is definitely an area that I would definitely highly recommend because it is right in between Buckhead, which is the most expensive, luxurious part of Atlanta. And it's between downtown, which isn't necessarily luxurious at all. Midtown is a nice, nice area. You can get a you can get a nice apartment starting at about 1100 1200 bucks depending on the street the block and everything else like that you know what i'm saying the cost of living in atlanta is definitely lower than most places in the united states you know what i'm saying um, i don't know why but the cost of living is definitely definitely a lot lower and a lot of people think that living in atlanta is expensive but it's really not um, especially if you want one of those nice apartments in downtown midtown you know they're not too expensive they start out you know like i said 11 12 13 1400 you know what i'm saying and if you have a decent job that's not really bad now you can get a lot cheaper if you go to the outskirts of Atlanta. so if you go to the outskirts which would be more so like marietta sandy springs smyrna area things like that not too far from the city maybe about 10 15 20 minutes outside of the city you can get an apartment for a lot lot less cheaper than you know 1100 1200 whatever you can probably get one for about around 700 800 900 bucks which is still not bad at all you dig what i'm saying so that's just something to think about when you're moving to atlanta depending on what you want if you're more of a high-rise person i will start off looking right here in midtown peachtree street between third and 14th street there's a bunch of apartments, ponts, a lot of places like that. You know what I'm saying? You should definitely start your search there. But if you don't necessarily want to live in the city, because I actually lived in the city before and I realized I'm more of an outskirt type of person. I would start looking in, you know, Marietta, Smyrna areas because you can get you get access to the city and you're not actually in the city. So you get kind of get the best of both worlds and your cost of living is much lower right outside of the city. All right, so if you look behind me, you will see a rainbow colored street. Something I want to talk about when it comes to Atlanta is the acceptance. The LGBTQ community gets a lot of love here. You know what I'm saying? You get accepted. You know what I'm saying? I, I know Atlanta has a lot of slack. I hear a lot of people, oh, everybody's gay in Atlanta. This and that about Atlanta. There's a lot of lesbians. Da, 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 da. And it's true. There is. But that's because they are accepted here. You know what I'm saying? And the world is not yet ready for that type of acceptance but Atlanta which is not a part of the world as you may know we accept LGBTQ you know what I'm saying this is a place that y'all can come 
and y'all can be free and you can be yourselves and you can get friends and you can get people who are just like you on the same journey as you looking for acceptance just like you you know what i'm saying so it is a great place to be for lgbtq community now that is not my lifestyle but this particular block definitely accepts them a lot there's a lot of bars there's a lot of places to go that you can feel good you can feel accepted you know what i'm saying you can feel wanted and everybody deserves to be accepted everybody deserves to feel wanted you know what i'm saying so atlanta is definitely a place for the lgbtq community shout out to you if you are a part of that community and love to you and as you know atlanta is a steady fast growing city so with it being a fast growing city one of the cons that I really, really can't stand and I really, really hate. And that is why I am out doing this video at 10 a.m. so I don't run into it. It's traffic, man. Traffic, traffic, traffic. I cannot stand traffic. I can't stand sitting in traffic. I can't stand driving through traffic. It gets on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? I ain't a killer, but <laughs> traffic be pushing me. You dig what I'm saying? So traffic is definitely a con for me. I'm pretty sure it's a con for anybody. Traffic is definitely something that goes on a lot in Atlanta. And the reason... That is such a con for me also. And this is also another con is that it is overpopulated. It's a small city. Atlanta is very, very small. You can definitely get around Atlanta in less than an hour or two if you don't stop. And that includes the outskirts as well. You know what I'm saying? You could definitely go from east to west, downtown, midtown, Buckhead. You can definitely get to the whole city in two hours or less if you're just on a mission. You dig what I'm saying? So, it is very, very overpopulated. I will not lie to you because everybody wants to come to Atlanta. Everybody comes to Atlanta. And some of them stay. Some of them don't leave. And But the good thing about that is that you get a lot of different cultures in one city. So, I've met a lot of people in Atlanta who aren't from Atlanta. It's very, very rare that you will actually meet somebody who's from Atlanta for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people aren't really from here. I've met so many people from Chicago, New York, California, Mississippi, Louisiana, Florida, Paris, Africa, Asia. It's so many different people from different walks of life who actually live in Atlanta, who settled in Atlanta. And I think that's kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? That is definitely a pro when it comes to the traffic and the overpopulation is that you get a lot of different cultures in one city. You dig, you dig what I'm saying? So it's not all bad, but definitely that traffic is definitely a con and the overpopulation is definitely a con, man. There's a lot of people here, causes a lot of traffic. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But come here at your own will. If you come here, I promise you, you might want to stay. Is it too early to go to the strip club? It's 10 in the morning. So um, yeah, it might be, but in Atlanta, it's never too early to go to the strip club, man. There's so many different strip clubs to choose from, from Magic City, which is the most popular, to Platinum, which is one that I kind of come to, you know, every so, every blue moon, I might be in there. I don't be in there like that. <laughs> I'm capping, but, you know what I'm saying? But I do enjoy going to a good strip club. Not going to lie, who doesn't every now and then? But one thing about Atlanta and one, one thing that is definitely a pro is that there is always something to do in Atlanta. There's always something to do from clubs to lounges, hiking, outdoor activities, indoor activities. Anything that you like to do, Atlanta pretty much has it, man. There's no reason for you to be bored in Atlanta. If you are bored in Atlanta, you are just boring. Simple as that. You're just boring. But there is always something to do in Atlanta always something going on the city literally never sleeps until 6 a.m but when we go to sleep at 6 we're gonna be right back up at 9 looking for something to do another thing is ain't nobody in atlanta got no job <laughs> don't ask me what we do i don't know what we do <laughs> i don't know what we do but we ain't got no job <laughs> i'm a youtuber All right, guys, so I am currently inside of Buckhead Shops in Buckhead, Atlanta, Georgia. So, Buckhead Shops, this is just basically where all the bougie shit goes on. You dig what I'm saying? It's going to be a bunch of bougie stuff. A bunch of bougie shopping, a bunch of bougie people, a bunch of rich people. You know what I'm saying? But on top of that, a pro is definitely Atlanta has a lot of different places to shop. A lot of good shopping places. But a con that comes with that is that a lot of people are, like, materialistic. You feel me? So, watch out for that. 
Atlanta is definitely a fast paced city and you could definitely get sucked into it very, very fast if you're not careful. So definitely ball out by your own means, man. Don't try to keep up with people because a lot of people go broke trying to keep up. You know what I'm saying? Buying bottles in the club, buying unnecessary, unnecessary designer items because you feel like you need to fit in. You don't need to fit in. You are perfectly fine how you are. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you want to treat yourself, but don't go out of your way to treat yourself to try to fit in. And to the people who can't afford it, let them afford it. Let them buy it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. Be yourself. It's cheaper to be yourself. It's cooler to be yourself. So, definitely never get sucked into or pressured into doing something because you feel like you need to fit in. Oh, damn. I just dropped my Louis Vuitton wallet next to my Rolex and my Gucci socks and my Balenciagas. Wow. I am currently inside of the world famous, world renowned, world talking about Lennox Mall, man. As y'all see, nothing really special about it. Don't understand why people talk about it all the time. But overall, it is a lit place to come. It is a lit place to be. It's a good place to shop. And I actually have to shop. So, you know, Buckhead shops, like I said, it's a little bit too bougie for me. It's out of my price range. But Lennox, I can afford Lennox. Linux is cool. Linux is good vibes. So I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. There's a few items I do need to pick up. If you're ever up in, if you're ever in Atlanta, Linux Mall is definitely the place you gotta come. If you live in Buckhead, this is probably your mall of choice. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot more malls that I've been to that are better. You know, like the Galleria Mall in Houston, way better than Linux Mall if you ask me. But to each his own. Well, unfortunately. They had what I needed, but they didn't have it in my size. So therefore, wasn't able to get it, but that's okay. Because that means I can go one more spot that I can show you guys that you have to come to when you come to Atlanta. And I think I'm gonna wrap the video up there. But if you're enjoying this tour so far, just go ahead, smash that like button for me. Please hit that subscribe button. You dig what I'm saying? Let's get it, let's go to the next location. I was able to get what I needed. I found it. Just a basic black hoodie. I just needed it. It's a little nippy out here, so I'm gonna take a turtleneck off. I'm gonna switch to the hoodie. But this is Atlantic Station, guys. This is Atlantic Station. So this is definitely a place you should come when you're in Atlanta if you're visiting because it's just a great place to come, man. This has a lot of outdoor shopping, man. It has a bunch of restaurants, man. It has a cinema, it has a gym, and it has apartments. You're in my business? Yeah, don't do that. That one last con is, of course, dating. For some reason, dating in Atlanta is a little different. It feels different. It's different. Dating isn't even dating in Atlanta. Everybody just has entanglements. Everybody has entanglements. I'm talking about, I personally know people. I know people who have boyfriends. I know people who have girlfriends. And those same people have side pieces. And those side pieces have side pieces. And those side pieces have boyfriends and girlfriends. And it just keeps going and keep going and keep going. If you're in Atlanta, you know what I'm talking about. Okay? The dating scene can be a little hard. I'm not going to lie. And I feel like, I don't know why. I don't know why. But dating is a little complicated in Atlanta. I find it to be very complicated. As a 25-year-old single man, I find it very difficult to date in Atlanta because for me, it seems like women my age like older men. And the women younger than me think I'm too old. So I can't win right now. So, which means I just need to stay in the creative space and just blow up. 
Because if I blow up, I'm going to be everybody's type. Let's be real. I'm everybody's type right now. You know what I'm saying? People just be iffy. That's all. You know what I'm saying? So the more lit you are in Atlanta, the more cutty you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. If you're lit, you're getting it. If you're not lit, you're not getting it. And it's just that simple. Also, was also messing the game up. Also, sugar daddies. It's a lot of sugar daddy trick daddies up in Atlanta. That is culture. So, ladies, if you're looking for a trick daddy, if you're looking for a sugar daddy, they are here. They are here. Okay? They here for you. They ready to spend that bag on you. Because a young man like myself, you can get something, but I ain't about to, uh-uh. I ain't finna wine and dine you. You ain't mine. You feel me? Um, that's not happening. And it's not, I don't do, I can have fun by myself. <laughs> I can have fun by myself. I don't need no company, baby. I don't need no company that bad. You ain't that pretty. I'm going to tell you right now. You ain't that pretty. Your coochie ain't that good. No cap. But that would be my last con. And an honorable mention pro. You don't need one of these because coronavirus don't live here. You dig what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all comment. Make sure y'all subscribe. If you like this video, let me know what other videos y'all would like to see. Also in the description, I left a whole bunch of vlogs of my Atlanta life. That way you can look and you can actually see how I go out, the nightlife, everything like that. If you're more interested in seeing more of Atlanta, I will leave those videos linked below. You dig what I'm saying? Your boy Dope is out.